Gentlemen, you both, um, in your opening answer to the opening question, talked about it, talked about economic development and the importance it played. I'd like to drill down a little bit. I'd like to know what your concept of economic development is and what you believe the city can and should do to implement your concept of economic development. Well, obviously, we have a lot of talented people in City Hall that work in economic development, and so I think part of the plan needs to be a strategic plan for the future and an action plan for the future. A strategic plan and action plan are the same, same thing. We need to sit down uh, immediately, if you will, and talk to the people uh, involved in economic development, talk with the Chamber of Commerce, look at what, uh, what we need for housing, which I think is part of economic development, what we need to do to promote the educational system here in County Plus, which is part of economic development. We need to look at what opportunities we have uh, at the state level and at the federal level in terms of what programs are out there, if there are community development grants, if there's Iowa Finance Authority uh, uh, types of grants, and at the federal level what we can look at. We need to engage uh, those people at those levels as well as the local level in terms of finding out what is available to help us with uh, housing, to help us with rehab, to help us with uh, infrastructure needs. I mean, there are infrastructure needs in the city of Counts Plus that are part of economic development. And so I think uh, we need to really have a plan for that. And I think we do that by bringing <coughs> local uh, people together, private uh, private uh, industry and private business and, and the chamber, as well as the city. And I would add into that also the county. I think the county needs to be apprised uh, of what we're trying to do in the city. I think the county and city need to work better together because economic development really comes about uh, when you have as much uh, as much emphasis behind it as you can. I think the county can help us with that. So I think it's a matter of, of uh, taking some time and really implementing and developing a, a long-term plan, a uh, strategic plan for action. Uh, to drill down a little bit, I think there are two areas that I see as economic development, and one is residential housing that comes to us. We've had a history where residential housing had starts and stops and we're missing um, some significant inventory at certain price levels. I think we need to address that. And the reason we need to address it is that we have substantial numbers of people that earn their living in Council Bus who do not live in Council Bus. Um, I've heard the statement that 70% of Council Bus school teachers do not live in Council Bus. Um, I would estimate that that same percentage of our health care professionals in the two hospitals in Council Bluffs do not live in Council Bluffs. To my knowledge, no Google employee lives in Council Bluffs, and very few casino employees live in Council Bluffs. And there are two reasons I believe that's the case. One I talked about earlier is, is the fact that in certain price ranges, we lack housing inventory, and I think we need to address that. Um, and then we have what I believe is a misperception of the quality of our education. We have people that choose to go to Omaha because they think the quality of education is better. We're going to aggressively strategize to fill in those housing gaps and those price ranges where we don't have housing, um, try to incentivize some development in that area. And I'm going to work closely with the Council Bluffs School Superintendent to change that misperception about our education system in Council Bluffs. As far as business economic development, the low-hanging fruit, the easy development, is existing businesses in Council Bluffs. We need to retain those businesses and help them grow. Um, and we can do that with economic development tools that the state of Iowa provides. Um, a problem we have is our workforce. And it's kind of a good problem. Iowa, I believe now, maybe has the most jobs they've ever had in the history of the state. Ottawa County's got 3.8% unemployment. That's below um, full employment. So we need to develop a workforce. A lot of those people are underemployed. We need to give them the full employment. In order to do that, we need to have property, um, speculative property, shovel-ready property for builders. And, uh, and we need to work with the workforce um, and we need um, business. That is your time.